Bethesda released a sneak peek on what's included in the next update to Kickstart 2021 in Fallout 76. A lot of quality of life additions are very welcome and things players have been asking about since the beginning. Camp slots make it very easy for players to move camp locations because now it saves your camp in a slot and in case you aren't satisfied with your move you can just revert back. With the camp building system being the way that it is, it's nice not to have to worry about losing something you worked very hard on creating whenever you get a burst of creativity to start a new camp. Batch crafting is another long overdue feature that players have been yearning for. What I want to talk about in this video and what I fear for the future of Fallout 76 is the decisions the devs are making in regards to giving us these updates. The biggest change included in the Inside the Vault article is the implementation of perk loadouts. With Fallout 76's new perk system, it becomes very troublesome late game to swap out survivability perks with crafting perks whenever you want to jump back into your camp and stock up. The UI isn't very intuitive and it leaves a lot to be desired, so players have been pleading for this to be added and the only response we've had for years was we're going to explore options and and it's a little bit of a kick to the head because PC players are extremely fortunate that modding support is in Fallout 76 and they had this in the game relatively early in the game's life cycle. Players were able to switch perks on the fly and all it took was a couple minutes to make it happen. Now in 2021, we are going to have a working system made by the developers themselves and the biggest problem is they told us that it's going to give us two free perk loadouts and any additional ones require a purchase in the Atom Shop. This may not seem like a huge problem for a vast majority of players. Many will use their spare loadout with the essential crafting perks and quickly switch back and forth. But some players like me with a variable bloody build that have eight different perk loadouts now have to purchase this if they don't want to use the mod version. They haven't mentioned offering Fallout first players access to the unlimited loadouts, but I wouldn't really be surprised if they didn't include this with their monthly subscription. And I don't want to make this an attack on the Atom Shop itself, and while the Vault Shelters is another beast in itself, I don't necessarily think that the Atom Shop is a terrible thing in itself. I don't like seeing features that players have been asking for since the beginning and we finally get what we want, but we have to pay for it in some way. If you take a break for a while and come back, you find out you missed on some great quality of life items because A, it was in the item shop for a set amount of time and it's not there anymore, or B, you didn't play during the season pass to unlock these items. From a business perspective, this probably makes a lot of sense. Popular MMOs and even hit mobile games are littered with time-gated content, and if you aren't boosting their playtime numbers to the investors, you miss out on those valuable items. And I still really enjoy my time playing Fallout 76. I honestly didn't expect to still be playing this game uh, years later, but every couple of months the experience gets better, but there's also more price tags as well. And honestly, this is all just guesswork. We really don't know what they're planning on doing with this game. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get an actual roadmap of what we could see in 2021. But if we keep going down the direction that the devs been taking, eventually we're going to have to be paying more to get the full experience of Fallout 76. What do you guys think? I know something like viable loadout slots may not make you stop playing the game, but what do you feel like will happen in the future of Fallout 76 if they continue down this path? Steel Dawn was really great, but we probably got a handful of camp items and very few weapons. Everything else will be listed in the Atom Shop or in the Season Pass. I'm really interested in continuing this discussion down below with you guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Thank you all for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.